Keeping in touch with your community through local news and information is the gift that keeps giving all year long. Subscribe now to get 50% off an annual subscription for you or anyone on your list. Visit inforum.com slash subscribe to get started. The forum set out to answer an intriguing question. What are the oldest restaurants in the Fargo-Moorhead area that still exist today? You might be surprised at what we learned. Hi, this is Tracy Briggs and welcome to Back Then. Midwestern foods have been the butt of plenty of jokes. Historically, the region might have lacked the spice you'd find in the Southwest, or the sweet barbecue tang of the Deep South, or the fresh seafood off the New England coast. But you have to admit, no region is better at comfort foods than the nation's heartland. Creamy, rich, delicious dishes to help keep you warm on a cold winter's night. No doubt residents here lead the world in per capita hot dish consumption, tater tot and non-tater tot divisions. But that doesn't necessarily mean we're eating that stuff when we dine out, either now or in the past. On the contrary, Fargo Moorhead's most enduring restaurants offer up a bit more spice and variety. Now, before we get into which restaurants are the most enduring, in other words, which restaurants here founded long ago are still going strong today, let's look at how we came to our conclusions. We dug deep into the forum archives, including scrolling through microfilm and paging through city directories. We also sought advice from readers, local historians, and business leaders. Now, for simplicity's sake, we excluded from any consideration any restaurant that was part of another business, like a hotel or a bowling alley. We also left out food served at fraternal, military, or service organizations or country clubs, and excluded bars, which primarily served alcohol. So for this story, we defined a restaurant as a business whose primary purpose is serving food to any customer who walks in the door or up to the counter. All of this being said, we are not perfect. Apologies if a favorite old restaurant of yours might have slipped through our finger licking fingers. Please just let us know and we can always do a follow-up story. So here are our findings. Both Fargo and Moorhead's oldest sit-down restaurants are pizza places. That's right, pizza places. Excitement bubbled from the headline of the form, like mozzarella on a fire-roasted thin crust. It read, Cortez Buys Coffee Shop, plans first pizza shop here. The date was July 14, 1956, and pizza was still a relatively unknown commodity to people in North Dakota. But Jean Cortez, a native of Keewatin, Minnesota, and a recent graduate of the North Dakota Agricultural College, of course, that's now NDSU, set out to change that. According to the 1956 story in the form, Cortez, an Italian, said one reason why he decided to open the shop was that he was unable to find good Italian food that he wanted here. Cortez opened the pizza shop at 301 Broadway. The pizza ovens have been firing on that corner property ever since. Cortez chose to use a recipe from Sammy Perella, a fellow Kiwatan native who opened the first pizza place in Minnesota in Hibbing in 1954. Cortez saw firsthand how popular the pies were, inspiring him to bring the new treat to Fargo. A year after the restaurant opened, it became a downtown attraction as Cortez's pizza chefs, quote, clad in white duck pants and spotless white t-shirts, end quote, threw the dough up in the air in the front window right off Broadway. In a February 22nd, 1957 form column, Jerry Ruff wrote, quote, if passersby are not drawn to the shop by the sight of the bakers plying their trade in a window, they are pulled by the aroma of the pungent Italian pastry, end quote. The manager of the shop, Cortez's cousin, Dom Cortez, admitted they piped the oven exhaust fans right out front to attract those customers. He said, you can smell it two blocks away in the wintertime. People tell me it makes them hungry. The novelty of pizza in Fargo might have worn off, but Sammy's is still a favorite for regulars and newcomers to the downtown neighborhood. 
In its 66 years, the name has been changed twice, from The Pizza Shop to Broadway Pizza, and finally to Sammy's Pizza in 1979, as a shout-out from new owners Peter and Teresa Tylock to Perella and his original recipe. Peter Tylock once told the form he wanted to use Sammy's name so that people from other parts of the Midwest with Sammy's locations would know they could get the same great pizza when they come to Fargo. On July 5th, 1958, the Forum announced that Moorhead was getting into the pizza game with its first pizza restaurant. Here's what the headline said. John Fellows of Brainerd, Minnesota and John Longhausen of Hibbing, Minnesota have opened the House of Pizza at Center Avenue and 3rd Street, Moorhead. The owners hired a 1954 Moorhead High School graduate named Dwayne Schultz to be a pizza maker. Later, he became a manager. By 1969, with the help of his sister, he bought the business and changed the name to Dwayne's House of Pizza. The Moorhead restaurant moved from 311 Center Avenue to 11th Street and Center Avenue in the 1980s and to 2223 Center Avenue before closing in 2021. Dwayne's House of Pizza does remain open in its two Fargo locations. It's become a favorite spot during the holiday season as former residents who grew up with the little rectangle cut thin crust pizza come back for a taste of the past. Dwayne's also has an avid following of regulars. Four years after pizza came to town, the form heralded the arrival of South of the Border Delicacies. Form writer Jane Lair wrote on July 20th, 1961, quote, From Mexico to Texas, then California and now Fargo, that is the route the taco and tostada have taken in becoming North Dakota's newest foods, end quote. Earlier that spring in April, Dwayne Engness opened the Taco Shop at 308 13th Street North. Engness was a Fargo native who got the idea for the Taco Shop after living in California for four years, where he said people eat tacos like hamburgers out there, and taco drive-ins are on every other corner like gas stations are here. Lair's story was obviously tailored to readers pretty unfamiliar with tacos. She explained that tortillas are perfectly round, paper-thin pancakes made wholly of corn. And she went on to explain the other ingredients and how tacos are prepared. For his part, Agnes said his dream was to have taco drive-ins just like they did in California, only with larger indoor seating areas because of Fargo's winter weather. Agnes closed the story by saying he felt that Mexican food is, quote, bound to catch on here, end quote. He was right. The taco shop, which has changed ownership a couple of times, currently has two locations in Fargo with the recent closing of the North University store, but a new one might be coming soon in 2023. Its success, the taco shop success, later inspired fast food taco franchises to come to Fargo Moorhead. While pizza and taco restaurants are among the oldest in Fargo and Moorhead, a Western-themed American steakhouse showed lasting power in West Fargo. According to Clay County archivist Mark Peel, the M&J brand steakhouse at 817 Main Avenue West is first listed in the 1956-57 edition of the city directory. But according to a 1972 issue of Howard Binford's Guide, things really started happening in April of 1970 with the arrival of Barney Durr a former wholesale liquor salesman. Dirks spent $60,000 remodeling the M&J from its new rustic western exterior, complete with a boardwalk and hitching rail, and adding a completely new kitchen, off-sale, and coffee shop. It was a popular stop for diners who wanted a good old-fashioned steak and baked potato dinner. The M&J Steakhouse is now M&J Saloon. It no longer serves steak dinners, but you can still get smaller items like sandwiches and and pizza. Now, a Dilworth restaurant known for its burgers beat everyone to the punch. The Hi Ho Tavern, now Hi Ho Burgers and Brews, opened in Dilworth in 1947. According to Hi Ho's website, owner Glenn Tollefson was struggling to come up with a name for his new burger joint, but a light bulb went off as he nibbled on his favorite snack, Hi Ho Crackers. The restaurant had its name. In 1960, Earl and Edith Carvu bought it and in 1969 moved it to its current location along Highway 10. In 1977, their son Rick and wife Kathy took over and opened a second location in Fargo. The menu has stayed pretty simple. Burgers, sandwiches, fries, and shakes. Rick Caravu told the form in 2016 it was a big deal when they added a fried egg to one of their hamburgers. He said, 
we like to stick to the basics. Now, at the risk of stating the obvious, folks around here like their ice cream. At least two ice cream establishments still in existence today go way back. A case could be made, in fact, that the Moorhead Dairy Queen is this city's overall oldest restaurant, while Dwayne's House of Pizza is the oldest dine-in restaurant. The downtown DQ is among the most popular and well-known businesses in town, in part because the Dilly Bar was invented here. Bob and Phyllis Litherland opened the walk-up ice cream shop in 1949. It's now owned by Troy and Diane Dillion and runs in much the same way it was when the Litherlands were in charge. Morris Tasty Freeze now wasn't far behind, opening in 1960, right across 8th Street from Concordia College. It was a popular stop for both Concordia and MSUM students until its closing in 1988. But a second location was built in 1963 at 410 19th Street South. It remains open every summer with the new name Moorhead Freeze. There are a few other restaurants that stood the test of time that I'll just really briefly mention here. The late 60s and early 70s really saw an influx of restaurants to town, a lot of them chain restaurants. So here are just a few of the restaurants which opened back then that still exist today. And again, this is not an extensive list. There there could be many more restaurants that didn't make this story. So please, if you have other restaurants that you know of that came to town a long time ago and you think they're still here, again, do shoot me an email at tracy.briggs at formcom.com. But again, here are some of those restaurants that um, also came fairly early. The McDonald's, which is on South University in Fargo, one of many McDonald's in town, that came in 1969 and is still here. Cork and Cleaver in Fargo opened in 1970. Also in 1970, Mexican Village in Fargo. And finally, Taco John's in Moorhead opened in 1971. Thanks again for joining us on Back Then. I hope you listen to us again next time. Get reliable and accurate local news with Inform.com. Inform.com is your trusted local news source with journalists dedicated to keeping you informed about what's happening in your community. Visit Inform.com now.